Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I'm revisiting Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on mobile devices. It's available on iOS, Android and Windows devices and I was just really impressed with the response from my original review of San Andreas so I decided to revisit it in 2019 and see how it stacks up now. Let's talk about how it handles, what the support's like and also if this is worth while in 2019. In this video we test out San Andreas on an Android device and we actually hook it up to a game controller. There are a variety of them that are supported on both iOS and Android. I use a SteelSeries controller and that's the controller that I was really happy with on iOS. Now in terms of the updates and how regularly they support San Andreas, there was an update on iOS three months ago, then there was one four months ago, and then there was one a year ago, and then two years ago. So they aren't the most regular updates, but the game itself is in a very nicely polished condition as it is, and they just occasionally fix bugs and improve the game. So overall, it's the game that you would expect. It's everything that you would remember from San Andreas. It's the amazing 70 hours of gameplay. Plus they've improved the visuals and improved the textures and overall performance of the game so it isn't as buggy as I remember from console releases. Now one thing that will take a little bit of getting used to is the controls on a mobile device. Now it isn't the conventional way to play San Andreas so it will take a little bit of time to get used to it. I would recommend looking into game controllers though as they really do improve the experience and it's probably something that you're used to already. Um, there are options to have dual analog stick controls on the screen so full camera and movement control. You also have three different control schemes and customizable controls. So if you don't have the Bluetooth controller or the USB gamepad, you still can work around the different control schemes and dual analog stick controls that are available to you. Overall, it wasn't too hard to pick it up and play purely from the touchscreen. I actually didn't mind playing this way and it's something that I got used to pretty quickly, but it definitely isn't as responsive as using a controller and also having your screen completely free from your fingers also improves the actual screen real estate and what you can see. So it's really up to you, but the game itself runs really well regardless of what you do. They've also made adjustable graphics settings available to people so that you can tailor your visual experience depending on what device you have. So if you have a lower end device, then you can still play the game without dropping frames and you'll still have a clean, smooth experience. So I'm really happy that they made that available and overall the game is just everything that you remembered it runs really well I haven't experienced any bugs or any issues the graphics are great the improvements to the enhanced visuals are also really nice overall it's just a really nicely ported game and probably one of the best mobile ports available right now I still see it constantly trending in the top paid apps so that's why I thought I would revisit this to see if it's worthwhile in 2019 and yes it is, 100%, regardless if you have iOS, Android, or a Windows device, this game will be a godsend to you. You'll have hours of fun, and it's really easy to just pick up and play whenever you have your mobile device and a few free minutes. So check it out, let me know what you think. I really do appreciate all the support. Make sure to have a fantastic day, and peace out.